Do you use Slack or Notion for work and you're tired of copy-pasting Slack messages in Notion? Well, in this video, I will show you how you can turn specific Slack messages into task items in a Notion database without having to leave Slack. Okay, so here I've created a fake Slack um, workspace just to show you uh, well how it will work. And so uh, what I want to do is to send uh, Slack messages as task but only specific ones so for this we're going to use integramat and we are going to use the new event trigger so it's going to be triggered uh, every time that the new event is created and in our case it's going to be a reaction so i uh, i'm just creating uh, my webhook and then um connecting my slack workspace with uh, the integramat scenario so there we go Okay, so now I'm going to trigger the scenario by running it and I'm going to go uh, on Slack and add a reaction to a specific message uh, just so that we, we can see if it works. So let's just add a um, check mark here. And as you can see, uh, well, it worked. It has detected that we added a check mark. So now uh, what you have to do is look for the message. So I'm going to use the module um, search message and here the query we're going to use is going to be uh, just every message who has a um, check mark so you can uh, choose whatever reaction you want uh, but since I'm just using the check mark I'm going to use this and uh, this is a um, search query that you can also use uh, in uh, Slack to find all the messages with uh, the reaction you're um, looking for. Okay, so now that we have this, we are going to uh, sort by timestamp and in descending order, and we're going to add a filter because this will detect every reaction. And uh, for example, if you're in a Slack workspace with a lot of people, uh, well, you don't want the scenario to trigger all the time, so we're going to add a filter. We only want to get the messages who have a specific reaction, so the white check mark. And also, uh, I also want to get only the messages that I... Uh, and also, I want to make sure that I'm only getting my reactions, because uh, if I only uh, add a filter for the white check mark reaction, well, uh, other people in my Slack workspace might use it. And uh, again, I just want to get my own uh, check mark reactions. So now that we uh, have, are done with, uh, with this, let's test it again. So again, I'm just running the scenario and I'm going to add a check mark to a message. Okay. And as we can see, it has worked. And here uh, the filter works because this is a white check mark and it's uh, I've added the check, the check mark. So now the next step is to add uh, the message in Notion. So for this, I'm going to add a Notion module. So I've already connected um, my Notion database with uh, my um, with Integromat. Uh, but if you don't know how to do it, uh, I will link another video I made about how to link uh, Notion in Google Calendar, and you will see how to link uh, Notion with Integromat in this video. So now what we have to get is the database ID. And so this is a string of number that you can find uh, in your um, uh, Notion URL. So let's just open the Notion page and copy paste uh, this ID. Okay, so let's do that. And then uh, it will generate the, the different properties of um, our database. So for the task, I'm just going to choose the text of the message. Uh, we'll be able to uh, change it later. And then just to keep track of which person in my team the message is linked to, I'm just going to add their username in the request by field. And then I also want to keep track of when uh, this request was um, made. So here, because the Slack API returns the time in a Unix timestamp, we have to convert it to, well, a legible, legible date that Notion can read. So that's why I'm using the format date and the parse date function to get um, name in the date month year format uh, so this is what this uh, function is doing mm 
and then we're done that's all we need for our uh, notion module so that now i'm just going to also add um a filter here because because i want to make sure that the, the message that it is found using the search is the same message uh, that, that uh, well uh, were triggered by the new event module so i'm just going to make sure that the timestamp of the message equals the timestamp that we can find in the new event module so that we can uh, be sure that it's the same message so there we go and then the last thing i'm going to do uh, is that i'm going to add a sleep module and the reason why i adding this module because i've noticed that if i don't add it sometimes well um the, the event will be triggered and uh, it takes some time for the search to be updated with all the messages with the uh, specific reaction. So I'm adding a little delay so that well, the search can be updated because the new event uh, module is uh, pretty fast. Okay, so now that we are done with our uh, scenario, let's um, try it. So I'm going to add a check mark to a new message and uh, it should appear in my Notion uh, page. So let's wait and see. Tada! Yes, there we go. So as you can see, we have the text of the message. We have the person who made the request and we have the status. And so now you're free to well do whatever you want to um, change the name of the task if you want. And uh, that's it. Okay, so that's it. As you can see, it's pretty simple, but uh, trust me, if you work with Slack a lot and uh, you get a lot of incoming requests in Slack, uh, this uh, can really help you well manage all your tasks and be more productive. So as always, uh, if you found this video helpful, uh, please make sure to like, share, or subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.